Hello guys, in this video of Glenn Youngkin versus President Joe Biden. Glenn Youngkin is the governor of Virginia currently, and he does have a better approval rating than Joe Biden in the state of Virginia. So, Virginia is definitely a swing state in this election prediction. So, we'll start off with the more safe blue states. Okay. Then the safe red states. Uh... Len Youngkin would definitely do better than Trump and DeSantis in an election prediction. I honestly think Len Youngkin would have a chance at winning the popular vote over uh, Joe Biden. And honestly, I think he could really pull it off. But we'll see how these uh, states go. So we're going to start off with the first state here. Colorado, still a safe blue state against Glenn Youngkin. He really wouldn't win it. It's just trending more and more Democratic every year. But New Mexico, definitely go down to only a likely state. You can see Glenn Youngkin doing better with Latino voters in this state. Well, Texas would just be safe red. I think he's the perfect type of Republican candidate to appeal to all voters in the state of Texas. Easily carrying it. Same with Florida. Again, I think he would have amazing Southern appeal to both of these states. And Iowa and Ohio, again, his populist appeal could use some work, but he'll still win these states by both likely margins. Pretty much the same margin as uh, Trump in 2020. Maybe he underperforms it a bit in both of them, but I still think he carries both of them. Okay. So in North Carolina and Georgia, North Carolina, I just see as being a likely red state. It, he is from the state neighboring it from Virginia, and he had, would have very good appeal to the moderate voters in this state. I think he would carry the state by a decent margin. Same with Georgia. He went by about two to three points against uh, Joe Biden. He's kind of a perfect candidate to run in Georgia. I think he would appeal well to those more moderate voters in the suburbs. Again, we're seeing this appeal. We're uh, seeing this uh, pattern of him appealing better with suburban voters. In Nevada and Arizona, honestly, he won the Latino vote in Virginia, but that could have been a local issues race. But uh, I still think he's a, enough of a moderate type of candidate. We saw with uh, Lombardo for uh, governor of Nevada, he was a more moderate type of Republican, and he won the state. So honestly, I think DeSant or I think Youngkin could be able to win the state over Joe Biden. And same with um, Arizona, I think he would appeal pretty well here, winning it by a tilt margin. Just down to a few more states. Uh, New Hampshire and Maine. I think Maine would go down to a likely margin. Well, he wins it by a likely margin in Maine second. New Hampshire goes down to a lean margin here. I just don't think he could win it. I think it's a pretty Democratic-leaning state at this point. Well, with Nebraska second, honestly, I see him edging out Joe Biden by a very narrow margin here. They like a moderate candidate in this district, and he is that moderate candidate. Even in Minnesota, I think it would go down to a lead march, and they like more moderate type of candidates. They don't really like uh, Trump or DeSantis. They, that state went to likely in both my uh, last predictions. So uh, I think they would like a more moderate type of candidate like Glenn Youngkin, but Biden still wins the state by about four points. Okay, so we're just down to four more states here. We'll go with uh, Michigan to start off with. Again, I do think that Biden would still win the state of Michigan's Glenn Youngkin, but only by a 1.5% margin. Definitely be a lot closer than it was under Trump and DeSantis. I mean, people might want to say that, oh, Glenn Youngkin isn't a populist candidate. Well, he might lose some voters in the rural states, but he'll make a lot of gains in the suburban parts of the states because he's a much more moderate and electable candidate. Okay, now we're just down to these last three states. The state of Virginia seen a poll that showed him up here against Joe Biden. And uh, even though that poll had a very more Republican sample than Virginia really is, like only D plus five, it should be D plus eight. Uh, I still think Glenn Young could win the state of Virginia by a lead margin against Joe Biden. He just has a way better approval rating than him in the state. And he would appeal well to Virginian voters here. And we're down to the last few states of Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. And honestly, we could see that Pennsylvania would be more Republican than Wisconsin in election prediction just because he would lose some rural voters in the state of Wisconsin. Well, Pennsylvania is a more suburban, urban state. And I see Glenn Youngkin probably doing well in Bucks County in the state of Pennsylvania, probably winning it against Joe Biden because he's a lot more moderate candidate. 
while the state of Wisconsin only narrowly goes to uh, Glenn Youngkin by a tilt margin. So, pretty close prediction, but I think Glenn Youngkin takes a popular vote by about 1% against Joe Biden. He would appeal pretty well to the national voters, honestly. So, he gets a win against Joe Biden. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.